welcome back today we will discuss about time division space switches so this time division space switches are also called as space switches so it basically does connection between incoming pcm highways into outgoing pcm highways so a highway is made up of n number of channels each highway incoming highway is made up of n number of channels and each outgoing highway is made up of n number of outgoing channels and switching of one highway to another highway will be decided by the connection store it will be decided by the connection store connection store is a memory element or memory or storage component which stores data about which switch or which cross point switch must be operated to deliver which information to which outgoing pcm highway so we are considering pcm highway because we are dealing with pcm codes or pcm signals or pcm speed signals so this space which is made up of a certain number of cross points made up of and gates and will be using a set of memory components called connection stores depending upon what is the number of outgoing pcm highways we will use corresponding number of connection stores this connection stores basically has data or information about which incoming pcm highway need to be connected to which outgoing pcm highway so that decision will be done with the help of this connection store so the data from connection store is given to the corresponding and gate with the help of decode logic this decode logic will convert binary data stored in corresponding connection store memory location into a pulse or binary data to drive a particular cross point so cross point is required to make connection from one input side to another output side so whichever and gate that need to be activated will be decided by what data which are stored inside this connection store so in this connection store n indicates the number of channels that are associated with the incoming pcm highway and number of channels associated with the outgoing pcm highways so the channels the paths audio paths that are available inside a single highway is about n in number so for each and every channels the data is stored inside this connection store and the data is read by this digital logic in a cyclic manner in a cyclic manner or we call it a cyclic read so depending upon what data it is stored corresponding data or pcm highway is connected to outgoing pcm highway the next type of switch that we need to discuss in our time division switching network is time switch so in case of time switch we will be using two set of memory components we will be having one memory components of course it is made up of so many number of memory elements each memory element has its own address shown on left side and it will store data each memory element stores data so this entire component is called as speech store and we are having another component called connection store so each speech store and connection stores are having the address number of addresses to be exactly equal to the number of channels in a pcm highway so let us consider a scenario in which a single pcm highway is made up of eight different channels eight different channels in lines or input lines so all eight channels constitute a single pcm highway and the data from this input pcm highway need to be 
deliver to outgoing PCM highway with certain changes in this input data. So let us say the data coming from channel 1 is A, data coming from channel 2 is B and similar from channel 3 is C. In this way, all these data are converted into a single PCM frame. It is converted into single PCM frame. Right now, in this example, we are considering only 8 different channels, but in reality, we will be having 32 different channels for a particular time switch. Just for simplicity, we are considering 8 different channels. So, what we need to do is, we don't want to send this data as it is towards the output PCM highway. I don't want to send input A at time at channel A, channel number 1, B, C, D, like that. Instead of this, I want to interchange the time slots. So these are the time slots. That if it is coming from channel 1, it implies the time slot of this information is 1, like that. So I want to interchange this time slot that is done with the help of time switch. And this time switch performs basically time slot interchange. So the data in time slot 1 should be moved to time slot 3 in my outgoing PCM frame. This is what P outgoing PCM frame and this is what incoming PCM frame. So in this way it implies that this data is going to channel number 3 at the output PCM highway. So that is what the requirement is and accordingly how this switch time switch should operate we will discuss in detail. So in this time switch as you can see the in data from input PCM highway is loaded into this speech store into the speech store in a cyclic right manner. So whatever the data that is coming in are loaded into the speech store in the cyclic manner and also we are having and this data need to be transferred to output side. The way how the data need to be transferred from input to output in which different time slots will be decided by the data available inside this connection store. Of course, in this example, we are having 32 different channels correspondingly 32 different time slots need to be discussed with respect to speech store as well as connection store. So depending upon what data that is stored inside this connection store, that data is converted by the decode logic and that particular time slot data is delivered to the output side. Let us consider one example in which the incoming data is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H from 8 different channels. So it results in 8 different time slots. And all those data are loaded into the speech store in the cyclic manner, in the cyclic right way. We will write A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H in all 8 different memory locations of our speech store. So, but the requirement is not A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H at the output end, but I need my output PCM frame first time slot to be D which was there in my time slot 4 of my input PCM frame. So like that it continues. So in that way we want in this some other different way not in this way. So in what time slots this data should be there at the output PCM highway will be decided by the data available in my connection store. So let us say at first memory location we are having 4. It means that once we do cyclic read one after the other, first let us say this information is read. So this 4 is the address location of this speech store. So we generally store information which are the addresses of the speech store. At corresponding speech store address, we have already loaded data, incoming PCM highway data into these stores. And then 
we will extract this data to output side depending upon what data is available inside this connection store so initially if i say 4 is available in my first address location of my connection store this 4 is decoded and from fourth memory component that is from fourth address location of my speech store we will produce data d at the first time slot at the first time slot we are generating or we are transmitting data d similarly if i in my second memory location of my connection store if it is 3 then this is decoded and it will go to memory location 3 and what data that is already stored in my speech store will be delivered to output channels or to the output PCM frame as my second time slot data. So in this way it continues. So this is how we do time division switching or it is also called as time slot interchange. So this time slots are interchange that means data are interchanged and transmitted to the output side. So this mode of operation is about time switch operation. Of course time switch operation is of two types. One is phased operation and the other one is slotted operation. Other one is slotted operation. Whatever we discussed right now is phased operation of time switch. In case of slotted operation of time switch so instead of writing this data directly into our speech store in a cyclic write manner what we follow is we follow a cyclic manner so in case of slotted operation of time switch so we write the incoming data into the speech store in a non cyclic manner and the way in which the data need to be written into the speech store will be decided by what information that is available inside this connection store. Suppose if I say the first data available in my first memory location of my connection store is 3, it implies that it is decoded and towards the third memory location that is to the memory address 3 of the speech store my first data my first incoming data should be placed similarly if i say in my second address location of my connection store if it is 5 then it is decoded and it is for this particular address location my second data my second data that is b should be placed so in this way these informations are placed into the speech store depending upon what data or what content we are having in our speech store. That's why we are writing or we are saying it as non-cyclic write into the speech store. So once this writing is done, of course, please note that the connection store is read by the decode logic in a cyclic read manner, in a cyclic read. One after one second third fourth like that so once the data is stored now it is delivered to outgoing pcm highway or we will form a pcm frame outgoing pcm frame from the incoming pcm frame and the way we are taking here from this speech store to output side is in the cyclic read manner in the cyclic read manner so first directly we select from address location 1 as D and then C then A F in that way outgoing PCM frame is produced and of course these outgoing PCM frames are given to the respective channels the output end and please note that the number of channels that are available in a single PCM frame sorry in a single PCM highway will be depending on what are the time slots we are dealing with and what are the address locations we are dealing with.